An investigation in Columbus leads to felony charges after hundreds of thousands of dollars goes missing from a local parish and school. A Columbus woman faces up to 10 years in prison for allegedly stealing from her church. Good evening. I'm Eric Franke. And I'm Sarah Carlson. Police say it's been an investigation a year and a half in the making and involves hundreds of thousands of dollars. News 3's Mark Lovacott is digging into this case mm -hmm. and joins us now with more, Mark. Yeah, guys, this case began in June of 2010, and we're talking about more than 40,000 different documents here. Because of how complex this case is, Columbus police turned everything over to the Department of Justice for prosecution. Monies were used for paying personal expenses, credit cards, cell phones. Police say Susan Dressler used her part-time position at St. Jerome Parish and School to pay for just about everything from 2007 through 2010. Flags went up in 2010 when someone realized church money was missing. Police got involved and quickly realized they were dealing with hundreds of thousands of dollars. According to a criminal complaint, Dressler used the church's checking account to pay for at least $15,000 of personal expenses buying TVs, groceries, and other items at Walmart. She used church money to pay for personal credit card bills and housing for one of her children at UW-Madison. The 53-year-old mother of three also allegedly collected full-time family health benefits for years. Police believe the parish paid out more than $83,000 in health benefits and thirty-eight dollars for dental benefits that she was not entitled to. Among other allegations in the criminal complaint, Dressler is also accused of not paying more than $266,000 in parish employee taxes to the IRS. Police say it's unclear where that money actually went. Uh, she was a, a very well-respected member of the church and of the community, placed in a very high level of trust. And as a result of this incident investigation, obviously they have many more safeguards in place currently to, to prevent any sort of occurrence like this again. Dressler is charged with one count of felony theft and faces up to 10 years in prison. She's due in court next week. We stopped by her home today for comment but got no answer. The parish referred all of our questions to the Madison Diocese, which of course oversees all of the Catholic churches in our area. In a statement, they asked the public to keep the school and the parish as well as the Dressler family in their prayers. They wouldn't comment further pending police investigation. All right, Mark Lovacott, thanks, Mark. Sure.